friends, Krista here. Thanks for stopping by Books and Jams yet again. Today we are going to talk about all of the books that you have recommended that I read in 2020. I have gone through my shelves. Well, let me back up. In December during Vlogmas, one of my videos I talked about how in 2019 my main goal was to read books that you guys recommended and I think that really helped me to read more from my shelves by highlighting certain books that you guys thought I would like or that you really liked. In 2019, I wasn't as specific about picking books that I own already, but this year, when I asked for your recommendations yet again, because I would love to do this project again, I was very specific in asking you to choose books that are already from my shelves. And you guys came through in full force. I have a ton of books. This cart, which has three shelves on it, is filled to the brim on both sides. You can see the third shelf down there. Yeah, it's filled to the brim with awesome books that you guys have recommended. We're gonna go through all of them today. I had to actually take some off of the cart because they just wouldn't all fit. So there's obviously no possible way that I'm gonna get to all of these this year. Um, so something that I did last year, and I'm gonna do it again, I've already set up a list on Goodreads, and if we're already friends on Goodreads, you will have seen that list. I will link it down in the comments below. Go through the list, I think there's 93 books on the list, and you can vote for which ones you think I should read. I would challenge you to start at the bottom before you start voting, because I have a feeling the ones that are at the top, people are like, oh yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good but then they're missing some really good ones down at the bottom. I have no idea how many times Goodreads lets you vote. I have some people that voted for one book, some who voted for eight or 10. I think one of my friends voted for 12 books already. So have fun with that, go through the list, but I'm gonna show you today all the books that you guys recommended. So I'm not talking about any of these books right now or how excited I am to read them or anything like that, I'm just gonna show you all the books. So first of all, I'm gonna start with the ones that I had to take off of the shelf because it just won't fit. Four of the five classics that I wanna read in 2020 were on the list. You guys said, yes, definitely read that. So we have Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell, The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins, Wives and Daughters by Elizabeth Gaskell, and Agnes Gray by Anne Bronte. So those are already on my list of five classics I want to read this year, those will definitely get read. <laughs> That's a lot of reading. Yikes. The next deck I pulled off because these are going to live on my series shelf, which is actually in the other room. So these are all sequels or series finishers that are on my list that you guys said definitely read. So we have The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson, which would finish that series, Force of Nature, and the Lost Man by Jane Harper. Both of these are in the um, Aaron Falk series. This is book two, Force of Nature, and book three, Lost Man. That's as far as what is published so far. I have no idea how long this series is gonna be, but hopefully I get to both of those. Book two in the Land of Stories, which is called The, Enchant the Enchantress Returns. The Girl in the Tower by Catherine Arden. A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab, and Dragonfly in Amber by Diana Gabaldon. Again, some of these are like super chunky. You guys, I have a lot of reading to do. This one's big too. The third stack that I took off the cart to make more room are all of the middle grade books that you guys recommended. You know that I love reading middle grade, and many of these might be repeats on my middle grade March TBR. This might be my TBR right here. We have Lion, A Long Way Home by Saru Brierly, Because of Wind dixie by Kate DiCamillo, Chains by Lori Hulse Anderson, Flora and Ulysses by Kate DiCamillo, Esperanza Rising by Pam Munoz Ryan, The Night Gardener by Jonathan Oxier, Oxier, excuse me, very cool cover, The Phantom Tollbooth by Norton Jester, Johnny Tremaine by Esther Forbes, Princess Academy by Shannon Hale, The Tale of Despero by Kate DiCamillo, which I think is a reread, I'm not sure. I must have read it before starting to track things on Goodreads, but I'll read it again. I love Kate DiCamillo. The Thief by Megan Whalen Turner, When Hitler Stole Pink Rabbit by Judith Kerr, and Where the Mountain Meets the Moon by Grace Lynn. I'm really excited for this one. I said I wasn't gonna say that because I would say it for so many of these. All right, I got them out. Here goes shelf one. 
1984 by George Orwell. 112263 by Stephen King. 1000 White Women, The Journals of Mary Dodd, May Dodd by Jim Fergus. A Bridge Across the Ocean by Susan Meisner. A Fine Romance by Susan Branch. A Little Something Different by Sandy Hall. A Place for Us by Fatima Farheen Mirza. The Aftermath by Ridian Brooke. The Alice Network by Kate Quinn. America's First Daughter by Stephanie Dre and Laura Cam... Cam... Kamoe? Kamoe. And this is one of my 12 books of Christmas book exchange books from Lindsay. Thank you, Lindsay. As Bright as Heaven by Susan Meisner and Before Green Gables by Budge Wilson. There you go. This is all book, nope, shelf one. All right, moving down to shelf two, I'm not going to take these ones out. We have Belgravia by Julian Fallows, Beneath a Scarlet Sky by somebody, Mark Sullivan, The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by Abby Waxman, Boys in the Boat, one of the very few nonfiction, because I didn't give you the nonfiction list. <laughs> Uh, Boys in the Boat by Daniel, oh, I can't see it, Daniel James Brown. The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simon. Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. Esther, Royal Beauty by Angela Hunt. Fox by Nadine Brandis. The German Girl by Arma Armando Lucas Correa. Girl from the Train by Irma Joubert. And The Girl on the Cliff by Lucinda Riley. Down at the bottom, I'm going to angle. Down. Oh, let's see if I can get it. Comfy pants time. <laughs> Down at the bottom, we have The Gown by Jennifer Robson. Hillbilly Elegy by J.D. Vance. Hotel on the Corner of Bitter and Sweet by Jamie Ford. House at Riverton by Kate Morton. I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith. I See You by Claire McIntosh. The Invention of Wings by Sue Monk Kidd. Kite Runner by Khalid Husseini. Husseini. The Last Letter from Your Lover by Jojo Moyes. The Lavender Garden by Lucinda Riley. Life After Life by Kate Atkinson. Little Mercies by Heather Gutenkopf. And The Little Paris Bookshop by Nina George. So that is all the ones on this side of the cart. Now we're going to turn it around. Dun, da, da, da. Bring you back up. Hello. <laughs> um, I did put some going in a different direction because some of these tall uh, hardcovers are hard to fit in there. So we have Charles Martin Send Down the Rain and Recursion by Blake Crouch. The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry by Rachel Joyce and Maud by Melanie Fishbane. I put that on the edge because it's so pretty. Then I have The Memory Keeper's Daughter by Kim Edwards and The Memory of Us by Camille DeMaio. Small Great Things by Jody Picoult. Giver of Stars by Jojo Moyes, and Manhattan Beach by Jennifer Egan on this side. Moving down to this row, we have Molo, oh, no, what's over here? The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton, Molo Kai by Alan Brennert, Mr. Churchill's Secretary by Susan Ella McNeil, The Namesake by Jhumpa Lahiri, Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman, Next Year in Havana by Chanel Clayton, The Orchid House by Lucinda Riley. Ordinary Grace by William Kent Kruger, The Orphan's Tale by Pam Janoff, The Peach Keeper by Sarah Addison Allen, Poison Study by Maria V. Snyder, The Red Tent by Anita Diamond, <laughs> forgot, The Romanoffs by Nadine Brandes, Room by Emma Donahue, and Roomies by Christina Lauren. One more shelf. Here we go. Down at the bottom here, we have The Rosie Project by Graham Simpson, Secrets of a Charmed Life by Susan Meisner, A Spy Mistress by Jennifer Chavarini, Tea Girl of Hummingbird Lane by Lisa C., To Best the Boys by Mary Weber, To the Bright Edge of the World by Eowyn Ivy, Trouble with Goats and Sheep by Joanna Cannon, True to You by Becky Wade, Unwritten by Charles Martin, Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen, and The Writing Desk by Rachel Hauk. There were two books that are on my own TBR that I can't find right now. That is A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khalid Husseini and Bookshop on the Corner by Jenny Colgan. I know I own both of those and I don't know where they are. So when I find them, I will add them to the shelf. In general, I am so, so excited to read from this cart, from these piles this year. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to pick up anything else off of my shelves. I probably will. 
but every month I'm going to be looking at this list. I'm going to look at the Goodreads list that I created. I'm going to look at the recommendations um, Google spreadsheet that I made. You can't really see it if I angle it there. You can see that there's a spreadsheet there. And I highlighted ones that are series and different things. I highlighted ones that more than one person requested. I am not currently taking any more new recommendations because this is over 90 books. It's a lot of books. And there's just, well, there's a possible way because I read 150 books this year, but I'm still going to be getting books from the library. I'm still going to be checking out new releases here and there. All of these are backlist. So people have been making videos of tw top 20 backlist books they want to read in 2020. Ha! I want to read all of these so badly. There's just not enough time, but I'm excited to see where it goes. I'm excited to get some of these read. Some may read and leave my shelves if I don't love them. Some might become new favorites. Who knows? But I would love for you to check on the link down, downstairs in the description box below to vote on which ones of these you think I should read sooner rather than later. It was a lot of fun last year to see that list turn into red books from owned TBR to read books throughout the year. So I um, will take notice of what you guys vote for and maybe start there. I can tell you already that recursion is going to be on my February TBR because so many people voted for it. I might not even be able to wait till February, but this is one that's going to happen very soon. That's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this look through my TBR cart. My recommendations cart is actually what I call it. I love having this thing. It's much more full than it was last year. I have so many books to read. Where do I start? Help me by voting down in the link below. Also, you can comment on any of these books that you saw, on anything else that you wanna chat about. You guys know I love talking to you down in the comments. And also be sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, click the little bell so that you get notified when I post new videos. And I'll be talking to you in another video very soon. Bye.